Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are planning out the week of Christmas and I'm actually planning out the whole thing in one like sit down because I was out of town for the middle part of the week and I just figured it would be easier that, to do that. So you're going to get to see all of the plans put down from Monday to Sunday. So I have a adorable kit from Caress Press. This is very like classic and I just love the colors and I thought it was really cute. So here are the full boxes. It's called Merry Christmas. And then this is the essentials kit, which I have found to be my favorite format of this kit. I just love how much is in here. It's not too much, but it has everything that I need the bottom washi and date covers. I am going to use those. And then this last page here has some deco and functional stuff on it. I do have this extra box too. And I'm going to use this one because I love a redheaded girl in a kit. Um, I do think that maybe I will like sub in, I think there's two extra full boxes, maybe just one. I might sub in something else. I haven't really decided yet because I'm not going to put down a cleaning list over here this week just because I was gone pretty much the whole week. So I just don't need to. We'll get back to it next week. Um, so I will have room for an extra full box. So we'll just see how it goes and I'll just plan it out as I see fit. I don't know. We're just going to figure this out. Um, it is always weird to lay down a full spread because the spacing is always kind of you have to be particular about it because you don't have like any wiggle room but anyway I think we're ready to get started I've got my winter stickers here just to add in like as we go and I'm excited so let's get started now for this plan with me, since I'm doing it kind of plan as I go style, I am going to just kind of talk about my plans because this was a special week and that would probably be more exciting than me talking about laying down the stickers. But before we get to the actual plans, I'm just laying down the base of my spread. So we've got this um, bottom washi. I'm doing kind of a like alternating all of the glitter headers just to give it a little bit more interest. And then I'll lay down the date covers and the deco. So I'm just going to match the um, date covers to the glitter headers. And it just looks very uniform up there and it makes me happy. And I love that the numbers match the date covers. I wish that they were all one color, but if they have to be color coded like this, I love when they match. Which this is a Christmas kit, so I'm sure that she made that, you know, happen on purpose but I love it personally. <laughs> so we've got the day covers down and then for the deco, I'm going to speed you through this um, a little bit more quickly than everything else, just because it's a lot. Um, we've got the, um, the bigger pieces first and I usually do not layer my deco over the day covers or anything. I'm usually just an either or kind of person, but for this spread, since it was a special spread and a special week, I went ahead and threw them both together and I'm having to kind of reposition everything a little bit because I did not get the spacing right and I had kind of some blank spots and then some patterns that were a little bit too close together. So I'm just repositioning everything rather quickly and just really, with really no like rhyme or reason, um, just kind of placing them wherever they will fit and then I'm going to go ahead and snip off the excess like the stuff that is off the page and for some reason I was feeling very picky when I was doing this so it took me a minute to get everything how I wanted but I'm happy with the result so here I'm just snipping off um, sometimes I'll save the extras to use elsewhere on the top but there really wasn't any room and I didn't need to for this spread so then we're going to move over to the sidebar. I decided not to use the weekend banner this week because there really wasn't a weekend. And I just went with a couple of full boxes instead of my cleaning list. And I like doing that every once in a while when I don't really need it. 
and then I just pulled a half box for my like special moment of the week or special highlight which of course is Christmas for this particular spread and then I just pulled out a bunch of holiday stickers that I wanted to use I really pulled out the once more with love sheet um, I'm gonna try to use as much of that as I can in this spread so I pulled the this week header along with the checklist. These were things that I actually did. They aren't like made up uh, plans or anything. So I'm just filling in um, the checklist up there. And then my little special highlight is Merry Christmas. I used a little Sweet Bean Plans um, sticker, little um, tiered tray for that half box. So really, most of these things that I'm checking off are things that I did kind of Monday and Tuesday and just to get ready for the rest of the week. And then we're going to go to Monday. I'm just going to plan each day as it comes and then um, kind of jump around a little bit with these full boxes. So I decided to use the double box scene since I had enough um, room to use it. And I just put in that first so that I knew which days I wanted to use it. And then I pulled all of the stickers out so I could see where I wanted to place them. And I really just wanted to separate the flat lays and I wanted to separate the, um, the ones that had the wooden floor from being too close together. So I had these two extra ones and I just placed them on the sheet here and marked which days I wanted to use each of them. Okay, back to Monday. So first thing is I slept in. This was the first Monday um, that I had had off in a while. And I just wanted to take advantage of that and sleep in. So I just used a pumpkin paper coat girl for that. Um, I also did a bunch of content planning on this day. So I just pulled an icon for that. And I just wanted to kind of finalize the videos I wanted to do the next week because I was planning to put up five. Usually I do three. And so um, I had to kind of just pick which days I was using um, and which videos on which days. And then I also did some yard work. I put this off for a really long time, but I had a few like final leaves to rake up and I wanted to go ahead and mow just to get the remaining leaves kind of mulched up and into the soil or on top of the soil. And then I also just kind of um, cleaned up everything just make it look nice and watered and all that. Um, for my videos this week, I'm just going to use these little skinnier labels. So I'm going to pull three of them for that in just a moment. And I also um, went for a walk this day. So that third box is for a walk. I'm just going to use a Virgo and paper um, tennis shoe here. And I picked the gray because it matched really well. And I just took a really short walk this day. The yard work took quite a while so I kind of counted that as part of my workout too and then I just had a couple errands so I marked those with just a little bulleted list and then I also needed to pack so I used this funny fox and cactus sticker I love those so much and then for my videos this week I also used some fox and cactus um, stickers just to mix it up so Monday was my plan with me uh, for holiday spice and then Wednesday was my favorite spreads of 2020. I just pulled those and kind of talked about them a little bit. And then Friday was part three of my goal series, which was my mind map, which is kind of my favorite thing ever. <laughs> so um, check out my goal series if you're interested in that. Um, and then well, let's get back to Tuesday. So First thing is I got up early and finished packing and drove to Dallas. I just made one stop um, just to kind of keep it safe. And then um, that, like on my way there, my nephew was born, Stellan Ames. So we share a middle name and his first name means peaceful and calm. And it kind of honors his, uh, both of his his grandmother and his great grandmother. And I think that is amazing because my nani was named Estelle. So I love that. And then I love that I get the honor of, you know, he has a little piece of me too, which I love. 
and he's such a cute baby. I'll insert a picture here because he is just the cutest. Um, I also marked down at the bottom that we FaceTimed with my sister, so we got to see him a little bit closer since they were in the hospital and we obviously couldn't go and visit. And I mean, thank God for technology that we still got to like be a part of that special time. Um, also this day I picked up my other nephew who is three and a half and Grayson and I um, headed over to our Airbnb. So we checked in that afternoon and we basically stayed there the entire time we were in Dallas just to stay safe. And it was a cute little house. I wish that it was the summertime because it had a pool, which I would have loved to have taken advantage of. But it was like the perfect size and it was just such a good family time trip. Like, just perfect. Um, on this label here, we ordered some uh, food and Grubhub did, like delivered to the porch. And it was some really good, like authentic Mexican food. And then on to Wednesday, starting with another um, label, well, quarter box really, um, and I slept in. I rarely sleep in these days, but sometimes it's just nice, and it was the holidays, and it was just really nice to sleep in till like 7.30 or 8, which is pretty much the latest I can sleep in, but it was really, really nice. And then I took Grayson and my middle sister to the park. We just walked over there. Um, it was like really close to the Airbnb. So it was really nice and just, he had so much fun. I got a cute picture of him too. I'll insert that as well. Um, and then we, um, I'm just kind of working from the bottom just a little bit, but we did watch Elf, so I marked that on a quarter box. But this black box at the bottom is for meeting my little new nephew. He's so sweet. He's such a good baby. And so my sister and my brother-in-law stopped by um, just so that Grayson could meet his little brother and we could hold him. Our power actually went out for a little while that night, so we had to, we met him by flashlight, but um, it was just so nice to kind of hug him and like just snuggle him for just a little bit. We all have been preparing for this for the past month because we didn't know when she was going to have the baby, so we've all been just like extra careful and um, just done everything we could to be safe so that we could um, safely meet him, which was just worth every single sacrifice. It wasn't really that bad. It was just worth it. Um, and then on the top of Thursday, I have a little note here that we had some pancakes. They were delicious, even though my parents thought they were not great, but I love pancakes. Um, and then down here at the bottom, I was going to put in a third box there, but I decided to use something else. Um, I'm just pulling a couple of stickers here. I wish I had used that Fox and Cactus one for Elf because that's with the movie that's on the screen on the sticker, which is adorable. But I pulled one of these Fox and Cactus stickers that are like Christmas TVs, which is so cute. And we watched the holiday version of Nailed It and we just kind of laughed and had a great time just sitting around snuggling Stellan and just having fun and and laughing. It was great. Um, before that, we had our Christmas Eve dinner, which was delicious. Ham and cheesy mashed potatoes and green bean casserole. And we had pie that night. It was just delicious. And then um, I'm just marking that I actually went over to my sister's house so they could have like some nap time. And I babysat Stellan while they slept and I just got to snuggle him some more. He's just such a good baby. I miss him already. Um, before that we had just some family time and I did read quite a bit. I finished this excellent book, um, called, what was it called? The Best We Could Do. It was so good. I loved it. I'm kind of into graphic novels right now. So if you have any more recommendations of graphic novels, let me know because I'm like totally into them. And then on Friday morning, 
we had a breakfast casserole, which is kind of like a family dish. It's delicious. And then we opened our stockings. So I'm just using a bunch of the Once More With Love stickers. And then we opened presents, which I love giving presents. So it's like my favorite thing. And I just used that cute little banner. And we just sat around again and just like chatted and talked and um, just had a good time. And then below that, I took a little bit of time and watched Wonder Woman 84, which was, it was good. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, but I liked it. And then below that, I have a note here that we went to the park again. We walked down. My sister was feeling well enough for us to walk the block down to the park. And Grayson, of course, loved that. And then... um we had some tortilla soup, my mom's recipe. It was delicious. And we just hung out and enjoyed some more family time. We're pretty chill family. We just enjoy hanging out and talking to each other the most. I also got to babysit Stellan a little bit more that day. And then um, on Saturday morning, this was when we got um, kind of checked out of the Airbnb and headed to Abilene to visit my grandparents. But it was also my sister's birthday, so before that, we um we took some family pictures and she got to open our presents and it was it was great we all kind of shed a tear when we left because we don't know when we're gonna see each other again but um i'm so so grateful for the family time we had this week so like i mentioned i headed to abilene which is like two and a half hours from dallas that's where my grandparents live and they actually had covid two months ago, one month ago, something like that. And they um, felt comfortable with, you know, a small group of our family visiting. So I actually got to see some of my cousins that I hadn't seen in quite a while. They're some of my favorite cousins. They make me laugh quite a bit. Um, so I have a note here that I drove to Abilene. I used the little Grinch coffee cup because I could not I went to two different Starbucks and I couldn't find my Irish cream cold brew. They were sold out and it made me so angry. <laughs> and then um, I just like sat around and, and did a puzzle and, you know, we had a family dinner. And then um, we went to this thing called the Festival of Lights. It was cool. We just walked around. It's like a mile long through all of these little light um, installations and stuff. Anyway, it was it was fine. Um, but it was really good to spend some time with them because I hadn't seen them in a while. And I just had some good convos with my cousins and gave them some encouragement. Uh, they were having relationship. Well, one of them was, was asking me about relationship advice, which I, I don't have a lot, but <laughs> I gave him some, some solid adult advice. And then, um, Sunday morning, well, I had breakfast with my grandparents and my parents, and I really wanted to use this coffee cup. So we had a lot of coffee. <laughs> we had like three, um, like rounds of coffee, and they were telling stories and get, grabbing pictures, and I love that. Um, and then we all packed up, and um, I drove back to my town, which is Amarillo, it's about six hours, and. Um, just only, I think I stopped twice, but one of them I never got out of the car. So it was, it was a fine drive home. It was uneventful. And then the last thing here is that I unpacked and I just kind of rested a little bit. I am not a good napper, but I did want to kind of lay down for a minute because I had a headache for like the last two or three days just because I wasn't getting as much sleep as I needed to. And then I just caught up on some shows. I finished Bridgerton, which I really loved, and I'm going to rewatch. And then the last thing here is I'm just putting in my Christmas countdown from Fox and Cactus. This is the last of the countdown, so um, there it is. So here is the finished spread, and I absolutely love how this turned out. Yes, it's very busy, but it's super fun, and... I just love it. It's awesome. So let me know down below what's your favorite Christmas movie. And if you don't have one, let me know what your favorite gift was that you gave this year. I love gift giving. It's like my favorite part of the holidays. It kind of keeps me 
energized to give presents. And I think my favorite this year was, which I had a lot, but I think my favorite was this matching set of Whataburger shirts for my nephews. One of them is like a little onesie and it is the ketchup bottle and it says so fancy. And then on the other one is the spicy ketchup bottle for my older nephew and they're gonna look so cute in those in the spring. It's just gonna be so, so cute. Um, but let me know, what was your favorite gift to give? Because I think giving is the best part of Christmas. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday week and let me know how it went. Let's just have a little convo down in the comments. But um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.